Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. <clears throat> Excuse me, for the weeks of uh, January 5th through the 17th, 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind that these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to check the description box for ways to reach me. If you want to reach me by phone, uh, just make sure that you're subscribed at um, Bill Per Call, uh, registered, and um, and uh, request a call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. I'm told it's in a Hawaii um, number, Hawaiian number. Um, and then also, if you have not had a chance to check out Patreon, make sure to to do so if you can. Um, the Venus sign readings are there now, as well as additional content. So um, we have the central issue, heart of the matter is the Hierophant. We have the High Priestess. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Emperor, the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles the star and the hermit okay so the overall energy I feel like there are secrets being revealed to you mm. I feel too that if you're in a relationship somebody is thinking about a commitment um, or, you know, that's the direction of the relationship is like headed towards a commitment. Um, I feel like someone is maybe even planning on proposing to you. Um, especially to, yeah, if you're already in a relationship. If you're not in a relationship, I feel like someone, the person coming towards you, um, they are getting the courage to come forward. But I feel like they're they're very serious they're very old fashioned um, and I feel like they want to do things the right way. Um, I feel like something's going on where it's something is being made official. So if you were just dating someone, I feel like things are becoming more serious and you are going to gain some sort of title like um, either be, become someone's girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, Whatever it is, it's becoming official. Um, and I feel like someone's also going to reveal their relationship status on social media. So someone's going to be showing off their relationship or their love interest. And they, they're happy about it and they want people to know. So that's either you or it could be you um, looking at someone else's life. Now, it does seem like someone could also be watching you in secret, one of your followers, and they're wanting to know if you're in a relationship or they're just, you know, keeping tabs on you, seeing what you're up to, observing you, um, especially here with the emperor. He's he's watching, he's strategizing, um, and he's plotting, but he's also in no rush and he will come forward when he's good and ready. But it does look like someone is planning on uh, proposing or coming forward. And it can be um, an Aries. It could be a, a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe an Aquarius. I feel like someone's been thinking long and hard about what's best for them. Um, there is kind of a practical reason for this. You know, and it, maybe it's because someone feels mature. They're like, you know, I'm getting older. Uh, I don't want to keep dating. So this is the best person for me. I feel like um, either you, if you're the pursuer, like you're making the decision uh, based off of practicality, not saying that you don't love the person or that this person doesn't love you uh, or there's going to be no romance, but this person is looking at things from a, practical standpoint now unless you are in a some sort of third party situation I'm not really picking that up but you know um, somebody could be in a third party situation I feel like if you're wanting to know where their head is at they're focused on that commitment I don't feel like they're leaving that person I feel like they're focused on keeping and maintaining the established relationship that they've already um, built 
<clears throat> now I feel too like I feel like you're un unaware that someone deeply admires you. Someone's been studying you. They want to know all about you. Um, I feel like this person's been driven to astrology. Uh, this feels more like you being watched than you watching someone. Although, you know, it could go the other way. But I do feel like there is more so somebody that is um, wanting to understand you on a spiritual level, on a deeper level. And they do want to make sure that they're making the right decision. You may be coming off as someone who's very generous or you are attracting someone who's very generous. I feel like someone's very religious too, though. Someone is wanting to follow traditional laws and rules when it comes to relationships. If you are single and you haven't met anybody, I feel like you want that traditional relationship. You're looking for that person. You're not entertaining any, you know, temporary relationships. I feel like you want long term, you want commitment. And you don't care how long it takes you to find it. Yeah, if you're single, I feel like you're completely content I do feel like there's an earth sign that wants to come forward there's an earth sign that wants to marry you it seems like maybe things have been on and off between the two of you but it's like you make them happy and I feel like they want to let you know that you make them happy. Someone also feels like they need to protect you or guard you. They're coming off as like a guardian angel. This seems to be somebody that you cut off, somebody that you stopped talking to, but they're still thinking about a relationship. Something was too complicated. I feel like this emperor energy uh, struggles with abandonment issues and trust issues. I feel like they want to be better than their parents. They don't want to turn out like their parents. They want to build a, a better um, relationship than their parents had, a better life. Mm. You might feel like someone came into your, into your life for a higher purpose and they did. There was something divine about your connection, something that brought the two of you together, but you're not talking anymore. So anyone that you have separated from or you had to walk away from, I feel like they still think about you and I feel like they want to come forward. I feel like they're just waiting for the right time. Yeah, someone is making plans to come forward. Also, if you were in a complicated situation, you might be waiting for somebody to break up. Like I said, though, I think they're still going to remain in that relationship because it's secure, even if they feel emotionally, you know, empty. They're still holding on to it, but they still think about you. Um, somebody keeps saying one day they're just going to leave and you're waiting for that to happen now I do see them leaving it's just that I don't know for how long
if someone takes too long to come find you or to pursue you, I feel like you're going to let go. You're like, I don't have time for this. Like, I'm done waiting. I feel like someone shared something on the internet um, and then deleted it or you deactivated your account but they're still waiting for you to reappear or come back so they can talk to you. I feel like this person hasn't been able to spy on you. Hmm. It's, I'm getting a little bit of conflicting energy because it it looks like someone has commitment and marriage on their mind, but at the same time, it looks like you are walking away from that or you're not really interested. I'm just looking at everybody's back is turned. It just, I feel like nobody's interested and it looks like you're just turning your back on people. Um... Even if someone is expressing how they feel, you seem to be a bit detached. Um, kind of like, oh, that's nice. Oh, you do. Oh, okay. You know, I just kind of feel like you're not really affected by this person's feelings, what they feel for you. Hmm. I think for some of you, this is someone that you were dealing with and maybe you moved on from them, but they haven't, they haven't moved on. Maybe they still have faith. Maybe they're still waiting and they just strongly believe that um, the universe is going to answer their prayers. I feel like for you, though, you, the, the universe is going to answer your prayers, too. It's something that you've been waiting for. And I feel like. You just need to be patient for it, though. Like I said, if you're completely single and there's nobody after you, I feel like the universe is going to do something to show you that your time is coming. Just hold on. And then at the same time, you seem to be okay with that. I feel like you're going to try to keep yourself busy or preoccupied until someone comes along. Anything coming your way that seems surface or shallow, I feel like you're going to cut it off. Hmm. I, I feel like someone also is working up the courage to approach you or pursue pursue you but it looks like you might it looks like you might shoot them down you're like I don't know I feel like someone falls off their high horse or someone just feels like their ego got shot down hmm For some of you, if you've been having a hard time letting go or moving on from someone, I feel like you will be able to. And you'll be able, to, when you're ready to start dating, you will. But right now, you have to be in control of your life and of your feelings. Or you are viewing your love life uh, more strategically. Like, you're like, this is strategy. Like, I can't just follow my heart. Like, this, my love life has to make sense. Hmm. Yeah. So I feel like you're focused on practical practicality or the person coming towards you is. So, yeah, those are the messages that I have for you guys. Uh, hopefully it resonates. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Cindy Love and Grace.